Hi, today I'm gonna to do a very chic makeup look. And this is a look that would work for lots of different occasions. It's actually the exact look that I did on Kira Knightley for the world premiere of Anna Karenina. And when I posted a picture on my blog, lots of you said, oh, I'd love that look for a wedding, or I'd wear that look for a night out, or to wear, to meet my uh, boyfriend's parents or whatever. So I think it's just one of those very classic chic looks that suits lots of people. On Kira, I used all Chanel products, but I'm going to recreate the look today using very affordable drugstore and high street products. So I'm going to start by using this Max Factor All Day Flawless Foundation. And this is a nice long lasting one. This is number 45. And I'm mainly going to use it down the centre of my face, which is where most of the pigmentation, the darkness and the redness is actually and it'll just help to neutralize all of that. So just use it wherever you need to. Now before I go on to concealer, I'm going to start my eyes. I'm gonna use this, the darker one from this Body Shop Shimmer Cube. It is a sort of graphite-y gray, really, color. I'm just gonna put a little bit onto the, not very much, just all over my eyelid. Just a wash. So just a really nice soft hazy cloud of grey all over the lid. Now I'm going to use some liquid liner and this is the L'Oreal one. I'm going to start around halfway across and just dabbing into the roots of the lashes and bring it into the inner corner, but quite thin in the inner corner. And then I'm going to thicken it up about halfway along towards the outer edge. Then using the same dark grey colour that I was using before, a little bit more intensely, I'm going to use it to blend this line and really soften it. It's really working the powder into the line. And at the outer corner, I'm going to use the powder just to lift up a little bit. You can also use black to go over the top instead of the grey. If you want it to be a little bit more intense, so if you've got darker skin tone, maybe dark hair and you need that intensity, just go over the liquid liner with a black powder, softening it exactly the same way as I did the grey before. Grey is nice if you want a, a softer effect. And just keep working it until it softens. You still have the line, but it just has that kind of softened edge. So next I'm going to use some concealer. I'm going to use this Collection 2000 concealer. This is number two. Use it underneath my eyes. Then using the same concealer and a small brush, do some small pinpoint concealing. I'm nowhere near as spotty this week as I was last week, so that's good. Next on Kira, I used a black waterproof pencil along the waterline. You can skip this step if you want it to be a little more subtle um, and less eveningy. This is a Barry M waterproof pencil. And then using the dark grey again, which is the Body Shop colour, I'm going to start to really smudge that from the waterline underneath. And on Kira, I made this really smoky and smudgy underneath. And again, you can go as far as you want, um, depending on how dramatic you want the look to be. And then give that a really good blend and a soften, just using a, a cotton bud. Really soften that in. Now I'm going to use this very, very pale rose shimmery shade by Bourjois and that's just to blend in at the socket line, the light grey and I don't want a lot of this, just a, a very subtle shimmery glow really and a touch of this at the inner corner as well but nothing too light, just very, very soft and subtle. Next I'm going to use eyelash curlers, 
I'm afraid I don't have a high street or cheap version of eyelash curlers that I would use. I find that only the expensive ones are good. And use this NYC Volumizing Mascara in Black. And plenty of mascara on the lower lashes because you've got that very smoky smoky line behind it and um, it sort of adds to it I think. I think for that reason it's also a really nice look for someone with more hooded eyes because there's a lot of action going on underneath the eyes, there's plenty to see. Now for the red carpet I also used individual lashes, I used the Liz Martin ones and I used about five or six of the flared um, medium and small ones at the outer edge so it's up to you, you if you want it to be less va va voom then skip the lashes um, but it does look really nice I think for a night out. Okay so I've finished the eyelashes I've put three medium flared ones right at the outer corner and three short ones next to them so it just extends the length of the eye at the side there. While the glue's drying I'm going to do my brows and I found this kit by Gosh which is really really inexpensive and it has some great shades in and also an eyebrow wax, really good grey, brown and a lighter brown, not too red and I'm going to just apply it onto the highest point the brows, I don't want to make them too dark, but I just want to give them some definition. And this is just the little brush that comes in the kit, which isn't bad at all. So I'm just extending them a little bit at the side there, because Kira has amazing eyebrows, naturally, really full and beautifully shaped. And I just need mine extending a bit. Now that glue's almost dry, so I'm going to go through once more at the outer edges with the mascara just to seal them in. On to blusher and I'm going to use this really beautiful pale rose pink which is called Rose Frisson which is a lovely lovely name and I'm going to apply it really to the apples of the cheeks and then blend from there out slightly. It's a really fresh flush of pink. This sort of colour, a really fresh rosy pink, suits so many people. I think it's really delicate but also gives the skin a really youthful glow. And just make sure all those edges are quite blended so you can't really see where it begins or where it ends. And you can always add more, so start off slowly and build up. And for lips I'm going to use this really chic nude colour by Rimmel and it's the Kate Moss collection and this is number 03. I'm going to use it straight from the bullet because this is my own lipstick and just apply it all over. Mm, it's quite scented this collection. It's a really nice nude colour because it's not too pinky and it's not too browny too orangey. Just blot that in a little bit, blend it in. I'm also going to apply a little small amount of powder just to my T-zone, although that foundation wasn't too um, shiny because it was a long-lasting one. It had quite a matte finish. And that's the finished look and I think it's a really nice, simple but very chic look and I hope you like it.